Welcome to Algebra and Geometry Explained. In this lesson, we are going to review some of the most important algebra skills, simplifying expressions, combining like terms, and using the distributive property. These are the tools that make more advanced topics much easier. So let us get started. Example 1. Suppose we have the expression 6x plus 4 minus 3x plus 9. The key idea is to combine like terms. The terms with an x are 6x and negative 3x. 6 minus 3 is 3, so together that gives us 3x. The constants are 4 and 9. Adding them gives 13. So the simplified expression is 3x plus 13. Example 2. Now let us simplify. 2x plus 7y minus 5x plus 3y. Here we group similar terms. 2x and negative 5x are like terms. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, so that gives us negative 3x. 7y and 3y are like terms. 7 plus 3 is 10, so we get 10y. So the final result is negative 3x plus 10y. Example 3, consider the expression 4xy is 2x squared minus 7xy plus 5x squared. Four xy and negative seven xy are like terms. Four minus seven is negative three, so that gives negative three xy. Two x squared and five x squared are like terms. Two plus five is seven, so we get seven x squared. The answer is negative three xy plus seven x squared. Example four. Now let us switch to the distributive property. Suppose we have 8 times the quantity 3x plus 2. We distribute the 8 to both terms inside the parentheses. 8 times 3x is 24x. 8 times 2 is 16. So the simplified form is 24x plus 16. Example 5. Let us try another one. Negative 5 times the quantity 2x squared minus 7x plus 4. Distribute the negative 5. Negative 5 times 2x squared is negative 10x squared. Negative 5 times negative 7x is positive 35x. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. So the expression becomes negative 10x squared plus 35x minus 20. Example 6. Now let us do a slightly longer problem. 3 times the quantity 4x plus 5 minus 2x plus 7. Step 1. Distribute the 3. 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 5 is 15. So the expression is now 12x plus 15 minus 2x plus 7. Step 2. Combine like terms. 12x minus 2x is 10x. 15 plus 7 is 22. So the final answer is 10x plus 22. Example 7. Simplify 6 times the quantity 2x minus 3 plus 4 times the quantity 5x plus 1. First, distribute each set of parentheses. 6 times 2x is 12x, and 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 4 times 5x is 20x, and 4 times 1 is 4. Now put it all together. 12x minus 18 plus 20x plus 4. Combine like terms. 12x plus 20x is 32x. Negative 18 plus 4 is negative 14. So the answer is 32x minus 14. Example 8. Now let us start multiplying monomials. If we have x squared times x cubed, the rule is simple. When multiplying variables with the same base, we add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer is x to the fifth power. Example 9. Try 4x cubed times 7x squared. Multiply the numbers. 4 times 7 is 28. Add the exponents. 3 plus 2 is 5. So the answer is 28x to the fifth power. Example 10. Now let us multiply 5x squared y cubed times 2x to the fourth y. Multiply the coefficients. 5 times 2 is 10. Add the exponents of x. 2 plus 4 is 6. Add the exponents of y, 3 plus 1 is 4. 
so the product is 10x to the 6th power y to the 4th power. That wraps up today's lesson on simplifying expressions, the distributive property, and multiplying monomials. If you found this helpful and want to keep learning step by step, make sure to subscribe to Algebra and Geometry Explained, where we break down math concepts in a way that just makes sense. See you in the next lesson.